She was the first Indian American woman to teach psychology at Harvard, Tufts, and Stanford University. A trailblazing professor, Nalini Ambadi, died this week after a long battle with leukemia when she could not find a donor for a life saving bone marrow transplant. Professor Ambadi's death is a tragedy because it could have been prevented. For the past six months, the Ambadi family has been carrying out drives to encourage people to sign up for the bone marrow registry in the hopes of finding her a potential match for a transplant. Because of genetic markers, a person is likely to find a match from one's own ethnic gene pool. So in Ambadi's case, her match would most likely have been from someone from her birthplace, Kerala. It certainly would have been an Indian. India, the world's second most populous nation, has only about 45,000 people signed up in its bone marrow registry. It's becoming a bone marrow donor is simple. All it takes is a swab test, running a earbud on the inner lining of your cheek like this. The actual transplant is as painless as donating blood, yet because of cultural taboos and psychological issues, Indians don't register themselves. And in Nalini's case, when a match was found, they didn't follow through. We found six people, but they backed out for whatever reason uh, that they had. Uh, one of the things to remember is that if you do come forward and <laughs> register, then you have to see this whole thing through because of the heart, it's heartbreak for the, for the family and for the, the patient. The Ambadi family will not be able to celebrate this Diwali with Nalini, but they hope their story will encourage people to take that small step that could potentially save lives. With camera person Narendra, Sarah Jacob, NDTV.